Hello everybody, my name is Charles Bryant and today's video is going to consist of installing Lightroom presets in the new Lightroom 2020. Now that's going to include Classic, Lightroom CC which will synchronize across your mobile devices, Adobe Camera Raw which will include Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, After Effects and Adobe Bridge. Now before we get started, I want to give a huge hug to the camera and a thank you for anyone who has bought my presets, watched my videos, because you don't understand how much that helps me, helps me support my family and supports my channel. And I am in a huge debt of gratitude for you guys doing that, so thank you very much. Now the utmost important thing you need to do first is check your version of Lightroom. These presets that I have designed are in the .xmp file format, so anything below version 7.3 in Lightroom will need to be upgraded. So if you haven't done that, go ahead and do that, pause the video, and we will be right back. All right, well, I'm assuming you got everything upgraded with no hassle, so let's go ahead and open up Lightroom Classic first. Wonderful splash screen. I wonder where they get these nice photographs from. They're just fantastic looking. Every time they do something, it's a new photograph. It's just wonderful. I love it. So once Lightroom Classic opens up, you'll probably realize that you are in your library module. So you'll need to move over to the develop module. That's right here. Click on that. Then on the right hand side, you'll see adjustment settings and some tools that will be opened up. Move on over to the left side and you will see some menu items there. Presets is the one you want to click on. Click on that arrow. It opens up into some default presets that Lightroom put in there for you. Move on over to the right over here to where this little plus sign is. Click on that and then import presets. Now this may or may not open up to the file folder where you have downloaded your zip pack from me. What you do from here is click on the zip pack and bam, there you are. All your presets will show up for you to choose to your liking. And that is pretty much it for installing those presets into Adobe Lightroom Classic. Now, before I get into the photo side and how to use the presets, let's go ahead and install them on Lightroom CC. Go ahead and click on Adobe Lightroom CC. That is the more rounded version with the lighter green color right here. Click on that one. Now, once Lightroom CC is opened up, you're going to move all the way down to the bottom where it says presets. Pretty simple. And then all the way up to the top here, you'll see three dots. Click on that. Click on import presets. And there again, click on the zip file folder or find the folder that that zip file folder is in. Click on that and click import. Now I already had some presets already logged in there, but you can see now that mine are all in there as well. Now, sorry, my computer's really slow, um, but you got stuff like yellow starfish, tropical rain, stuff like that um, and there you are now your next question is how am I going to get these onto my mobile devices or Lightroom mobile well the geniuses at Adobe have made that to where it automatically synchronizes so they're there fantastic right now let's move on to Photoshop and I'll show you how to use these in Adobe RAW and I'll just say this I'm super stoked about being able to use Lightroom and Photoshop on my tablet or my mobile phone I think it's fantastic so if I don't have my laptop with me, I mean, I'm still good to go. I'm not like hurting or anything. All right, so now once Photoshop opens up, let's go ahead and click open. And we need to find a raw file or a DNG file. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what a raw file is, a raw file is the image that the sensor of the camera has taken in its entirety without any kind of processing. Every time you take a picture and you get a JPEG out of it, it is dumbed it down or processed it in some way and that's not what you want. You want these presets to be adjustable on a raw file because that gives you the most information and the most manipulation. If you use a JPEG it still will work but sometimes these presets may be a little too strong or the JPEG might not have enough information therefore it tends to break apart as we call it or just get really crappy cruddy and no good and it just doesn't look good. So I'm clicking on this DNG file right here. We're going to click open and all of a sudden, guess what happens? Adobe Camera Raw opens up. All right, so from here, where do we go for our presets? Well, they may. I'm pretty sure they have already been synchronized and already been installed. But if they haven't, I'll show you how to do that. But you'll go right here to this area. If you can see where it says presets, click on it. And oh, great. Yep, they're already there. Awesome. Now from here, I kind of want to go over some of the questions that you may have about using presets. And that is, you know, I kind of applied it to one of my photographs and it didn't really look all that great. Well, there's two things you need to look at. One, look at your craft, look at your photo. Was it properly exposed? Because these presets are designed to work and work the best 
on a properly exposed photograph. If it's overexposed or underexposed, then you may not get the best results. Okay, so if we look right at this photograph right here, this is a well exposed photograph. There's a little bit of clipping, but it's not enough to break the bank. All these presets are going to work just fine on these. I don't really feel like I'll need to make any adjustments after and it's okay to make some adjustments if you want to that is your choice as the photographer and even with the coloring it depends on the photographer it depends on the person using the preset presets are very subjective they're subjective to the artist and the photographer who created them and they're also subjective to the person who's using them so the beauty about a preset is it'll save you time in editing and at the same time you can also change some things the way you see fit. All right, so that's about it. Pretty simple video. Go out and create something fantastic. Better yet, tag me on Instagram at I'm Charles Bryant because I would love to see some of your work. Honestly, I would. Um, I'm gonna talk about histograms in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Hit that like and subscribe button if you're interested in seeing that. And I will see you when I come back.